All right, chapter four. Ooh. Seems we can see the ending here. Chapter four, the new order, the triumph of order. They look like they're having, <laughs> oh, it's a murder. <laughs> I was gonna say like, it... of course there's always a murder, but it looks like a little like school play. Like it's so awkward. <laughs> oh, hello. What the fuck? Why is your, why is your desk so tall? That's goofy. That's goofy and dumb. Remember the second virtue? Uh, sleep if you were a piggy. Remember the third virtue? Dance if you're a donkey. Wow. I'm so informed. I already have 12 out of 46. What are they? I said, huh. It is a thing of beauty to see order prevail. If it were not against the first virtue, I would feel very happy. What's the first virtue? Nicholas, I'll wager you feel the new regime rewards your diligence now. So tell me why I saw you spend more than three shillings on new clothes after I asked you to lend me money, and you said you had none to spare. I suggest you lend me some now, unless you want me to write an official report about a fourth virtue breach. Your beloved brother. Mr. Nicholas Maker. I guess we know what his name is. What is... Drag symbols here, from here for inputs. Everything is filled in correctly. Plus, minus, one, th zero through nine. I guess that's ten symbols and that's two, so that's where twelve of them were. Is they just came there by default. I think that everyone's gonna have their little passport, which give... Funnily enough, this makes this re feel reminiscent of Papers, Please, given the similar reduced art style and then the, f the fact that seemingly everyone's going to have this now. Because this doesn't seem to have a part of the screen that asks me to identify everyone this time. Otherwise, he would be on here already. Uh, but I think everyone's just, I think every single person's going to have one of these now. And so the idea of identifying people by name is actually irrelevant. History of infraction and, inobedient, and obedience. Minus labeled a protocol as being on Thursday, even though it was Wednesday. Minus took a double-length lunch break in the office. Plus, loyal service in low-ranking position to the order party. Plus 10 merit. Order overall plus 4. So you have a dedicated merit stat. You might get executed for not having enough of it. Record keeper of the order party. A thing of beauty to see order prevail. If it were not against the first virtue, I would feel very happy. Does the first virtue, first virtue ban happiness, or does it ban Schadenfreude? Schadenfreude. Boop, 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 boop. Weekly order party of People's Tribunal 42, March 14th, 1797. Six culprits are brought to the tribunal. Noon, tribunal's opened. Noon 15. Each culprit's charges are evaluated and merits charges are calculated. 15.10, first culprit's merit exaction starts. Then 10 minutes later, then 15 minutes later. Merit exaction. The must be the reward that happens based on your new merit. I felt it in my bones that I should have drunk less. Now we poor souls experience God's wrath. This tribunal is a farce. They spread lies that my pure love is merely lust. And what do they know about the true art? About true art. Such a relief that they decided not to punish any fashion charges. I hope the process is not painful. Not to push any fashion charges.
Oh, there you are. You've been around for a while. All the way back to being the stable hand. Poor bugger. I've never seen so much merit removal removed in the tribunal. Some mistakes are very costly. So he lost more merit than ever before. An Albion Frank banknote. He's a plus eight. Mr. David Gorin, 1752, Enforcer of the Order Party. Minus had a secret compartment in his office locker. Minus denied the existence of the secret compartment. Plus eight, loyal service and low-ranking position. So just being loyal in a low-ranking position gives you like a, a budget that you can eat away at by daring to lie about a secret door. The man is not breathing, no apparent wounds. Prince of Dusk. Like night, I am dark and full of terror. I do not fear love, do not make that error. When you know my name, just look for my face. What? Prince of Dusk, like, like night, I am dark and full of terror. I do not fear love, do not make that error. When you know my name, just look for my face. Am, terror, fear, that, my, my. <laughs> I don't think it's every fourth again. But that might be a codex. He has no apparent wounds, but he looks like he got, like, husked. Like, he looks like he's been, had a soul sucked out or something like that. It might be with something the statue does. It's everyone's files. Who talked first? That is music to my ears, Alistair. But do control your emotions. We are, we, as arbiters of order, must never violate the first virtue. What are you insinuating, James? I would never breach the fourth virtue. You know damn well that I keep no secrets. Don't you, though? Dear Arbiter Koch, I am writing to inform you that our regiment's colonel was seen with another officer's wife in a potentially intimate situation. I implore you to send your agents to investigate this potential flouting of the first virtue. Plus 11. Lord Aster Koch, Arbiter, Arbiter of the Order Party. History of infraction and obedience. Minus slapped a sergeant in anger. Minus listened to marching music in his manner. Just listening to music. Plus, loyal service to the Order Party in high-ranking position, plus 20 merit. So higher-ranking people have a larger budget to burn through. Ah. The 10 points weren't like a virtue of like, ah, oh, you you deal with a low position, but you, have a high, but you get this budget for it. Like, he gets double the budget for being in a higher-ranking position, and he's almost blown through it. He's not doing great. And, like, the system... As fascism tends to be, the people under it that are even enforcing it are themselves victims of it. Dr. James Turner, 1747, Arbiter of the Order Party. Minus, drank a full bottle of brandy at a picnic. Minus, kept the book Legacy of the Rose Dynasty in his study. Plus, a high-ranking position. They're both almost out of their budget if they didn't have 10 more points than normal. I'm surprised how... Uh, low their bonuses though honestly dear dr turner i must regretfully inform you that during your absence from party business your senior assistant daniel has demonstrated extreme untidiness and thus breached one of the virtues junior assistant toby everyone's just watchdogging everyone else all the time which has to be absolutely exhausting there's a back door too yeah there is oh there he is with the terrifying statue thing uh, I think these are people's files, but since I found this, let's find out what the virtues are, so I can at least know what I'm talking about. Who's been added to the thinking panel? Observe the four virtues to avoid avoid losing merit. One is heart, two is wings, three is sun, four is eye. The first virtue is, uh... Secrets. All secrets will be punished. It's, it's, it's... Lust will be punished. This is emotion or something. 
secrets lies. Oh, I need to also figure out how much each, uh, each thing is worth. <sighs> Excessive vulgar. Emotions. <clears throat> Tidiness, breached untidiness is one of the virtues. Okay, that's not helpful. I thought it said the fourth virtue. All right, so I believe they've said that that lot having secrets is the fourth one, but we can review them more as we go. Remember the second virtue: store confiscated objects and evidence according to the virtue breached. Tidiness? I think untidiness falls into the second one. They're set there, they put second virtue tied to uh, sorting stuff correctly. Brandy and opium are in the first virtue bin, I think. Because red. White. Invoice. Black Brook Farm. Three pounds of butter, 25 pence delivery, six pence, total cost 29 pence. Ah. Uh, they wrote the wrong number down. So yeah, I guess mistakes and untidiness. This is stupid. <laughs> Portrait of Gideon Bell, painted by Jasmine Nightwings. So, art? A violin. Oh. So, vulgar music, art, and fashion. Second virtue is diligence. Um... First virtue, excessive beauty. Maybe the th maybe the third virtue is beauty. This is emotional. Hmm. Book titled Stories, Autumn Tales. Hmm. Those are also art. Also, you're telling me, like, the, this is vulgar as, like, a, some kind of, like, satire type thing. This is vulgar? Things have not gone well for the people that were here. Is that Pip? Eh, there are worse jobs than this one. And thank God tobacco is not considered an indulgence. A bit boring, though. Too bad literature is forbidden. Indulgence. Excessive. Hmm. Oops. Literature goes with secrets and lies, I think. Indulgence, I guess. At work, you can't indulge. I am honored to help the party upkeep the four virtues. I only hope sitting here all day does not count as sloth. Sloth. At work, sloth. Maybe? In all truth... There we go. There's truth for that one. In all truth, High Lord, Lord, Lord High Arbiter, I would prefer storing no more than this. Moderation. 
no excessive blah blah blah. March 13th, 1795, London Gazetteer. Gazetteer? Gazetteer? Blah. I don't know. I'm over it. <laughs> Since the year 1792, when it gained a majority in Parliament and liberated our government from multi party chaos, the Order Party has worked hard to improve society. Despite the past popular support for the party, His Majesty refuses to acknowledge the authority of the party's tribunal. High Arbiter Lazarus Hurst has announced that in two months, party, the party and its supporters will participate in a peaceful march to the king's current residence to demonstrate their virtue of moderation. We got rid of the parties entirely. They took complete control over Parliament, but there still is the king, and they're looking to do something about that, it would seem. Silence. You perform your function as much as re is required. It is paramount to ensure order in our new society. This means something. J Lantern Line. Yep, Jay Lantern line. This is the unknown effect that that made the apple turn into a like made the apple rot. So now they're using, now I think they're using it on people, and that's what happened to the person outside. Okay, now we can try to reassess the information that we have in front of us. Fengor Quinn. This has been added to the thinking panel. Culprit Fengor Quinn. We we are using names. Oh yeah, for the the crime. Birth year 1760. Charges. Claimed he had no wife. Has a painting depicting a naked person in his house. Broke his wife's favorite teapot in anger. Has observed spending a night with neighbor's wife. Walter Keane. Flirted three times with different married women during the party convention. Wore ridiculous headgear at five public events. Claimed he had not betrayed High Arbiter Lazarus during his ritual of ascendance. Expelled from the party of order. So he was part of the process of setting all this up, and now he's disposable and tossed aside. And the very things that he did at the time of setting this up, thinking it was in his own interest or for some greater good, uh, are being used against him now, like the hats. Hmm. Lothar Richards held a dinner party a few years ago where he offered large amounts of wine to his guests. Oh, we're punishing people retroactively? Got angry during the questioning and shouted at the High Arbiter. Re plus, revealed the whereabouts of his hiding fugitive dissident daughter Mary and her husband Peter, evaluated at 15 merits. So he saved himself by being an informant. Jin, J Mr. Josh Bailey, left his work at Tannery early, drank excessive amounts of gin at the Scrawny Cat, drank excessive amounts of rum at the Old Oak, approached a married woman with an indecent offer, denied four times during questioning that he had done these acts. Oh, is he the dead one then? Cause that's a lot of, that's a lot of negative points there if you keep being punished for each individual denying. Horace Webb has not held down a job since the new regime, evaluated 60 instances of non-work. It's like for two months he's been jobless and that's a crime. Claims he works in his castle, helping his servants clean it. Possesses 15 books kept in his private library. The greatest crime, having books. Expressed willingness to donate his castle to the party, evaluated plus 200 merit. Oh, so the rich just don't have to worry about 
crimes. Culprit Gideon Bell. Wears an outrageous hairstyle. <laughs> Broke down in tears ten times during questioning. Oh, that's a crime. Because of excess emotion, I guess. Has refused to start working. Evaluated at five instances of job skipping. Rejected the High Arbiter's request that he share information of a secret entrance to the castle of his cousin, the Sovereign. Oh, they, they really are going after Duke Gideon Bell because he's related to the king then. And they want to weigh in. And so they're punishing him for feeling things when he's being interrogated. Oh my god. Okay, we need to find out the value of every in of every individual uh, uh, punishment, and then we have to calculate the final amounts that for every single person. Ah! All six of them are here. What am I missing? Excessive indulgence. Oops. Excessive emotions. Hey! Wow, I nailed it. Okay. So we know what the what the categories for all of these are now. Bones Frank's idol merit souls years. Blah, blah have passed since Order Party seized power. X years have passed since Order Party has seized power. During a tribunal, blah blah has just had the largest merit deduction in all of tribunal history. To execute his punishment, blah was used on him and he lost. The idol was used on him and he lost blah. Blah. Bones. Souls. Secrets, lies, music, fashion, art, untidiness, mistake, sloth, lust, indulgence, emotions, truth, diligence, moderation, beauty. He already talked about losing merit, so we don't have to say that he lost blah merit and died. But bones would be weird. It's Gideon Bell. I'm just I'm locking in my guess. I think I think Gideon is the one who died. There's a few of the other characters around aren't even here. Yeah, that's my starting guess, but we'll find out. I think this is the guy that just is the king. I hope the process is not painful. My love is lust. Okay, so he's alive. Yeah, that's the person about about love. That's the drinking person. And I think this is the guy with the castle. He's not being punished for fashion. He's getting off easy, essentially. So we're looking at Fangor... Fangor, Quinn, Josh, Bailey, and Horace Webb are the people standing on the left. Walter Keane is standing on the... No, Walter Keane is the hat guy. Yeah, no. I keep mixing him up with this guy. We even know his name. Yeah, David Gorin. Uh, 
Okay, so this is two lies. So a lie is worth one merit. Because this guy specifically has lost two merits out of ten. That person's like unidentified. So these are two work merits. Sloth. Taking a double length break as sloth and making this is a mistake. Yeah, so they went from 10 to 4, so they lost 6 divided by 2 is 3. So that should be those done. They have surprisingly little self-assigned merit, given that that castle is apparently worth 200. Drank a full body of brandy at a picnic, kept the book Legacy of Rose Diocese a study. All literature is worth one over here. So that if, only, if that's only worth one, that means the other thing is worth seven? Drinking. That should be indulgence. We'll see if that's consistent or if I'm making a mistake. Listening to marching music in his manner and slapped a sergeant. Well, if slapping somebody is emotions. That's seven, which leaves two points to account for the nine points that are missing. So two. Really? Okay. Wow. All intense emotion is comically over punished. Let's math it out then. Claimed he had no wife. That's a lie. One point. As a painting. Art. That's two, so it's three points so far. Anger, that's seven, that's ten points. Night with a neighbor's wife is another seven points. So 17 points. Angor Quinn lost 17 points. We'll see if I'm right at all. Flirted with three women. So that's 21 points. Uh, fashion is... that's 10 points. So 31 points. And then a lie, I guess. So 32 points. Okay, that's a good sign. So he's getting, these people are getting obliterated. Especially since it feels like it's implied that they die when they get low enough points. Lothar held a dinner party years ago where he offered large amounts of wine to his guests. I guess it's indulgence. I'm guessing it's only punished once though, despite being several counts, arguably. Because we can't figure out what several means, so we must have to treat it as one. Got angry. So seven and seven, but then plus 15, so he only lost one point. No. He gained a point. Minus 14, plus 15. Josh Bailey left his work at the tannery early. That's, uh... Something diligency, probably sloth. So that's three points. Drank excessively. Indulgence is seven points for ten. Seventeen. So seven times two is fourteen. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Yeah. Approached a married woman with an indecent offer. 
24, and then lied four times for 28. Wow, okay. I, I keep thinking I'm shaky on this a little bit, but I'm doing it right. Has not held down a, damn, uh, a job since the new regime. So Sloth. That is three times 60, I guess. So 180 points lost. But then he donates this for 200, so he's now back up to, two, to 20. I'm just skipping to the number being small again. So plus 20. Claims he works in his castle helping his... Servants clean it, that sounds like a lie, so 19. Possesses 15 books kept in his private library. So 16. 20 minus 16, so he's at plus 4. Wow. That uh, castle was not as much of a, of a boost as I thought it was. Gideon Bell, an outrageous hairstyle, absolutely cringe, fashion is two points, broke down in tears ten times during questioning, that's emotions, so that's 70 points. The fact that I'm calculating these punishments for people itself makes this feel like a Papers, Please chapter, even though it's noticeably different. We're just sitting here checking pamphlets and rules and passports and so on. It feels like a very direct reference. So we're at 72. He's probably the one that's lost more than anyone ever has, but it's only because he didn't have a castle to donate, apparently. Refused to start working. Five job skips. 15. 17. 87. Rejected the High Arbiter's request that he share information of a secret entrance. Oh, a secret. So 88. Or what was my number again? So this is 70. 72. 77. 78. Yeah, I believe so. Did I nail it that he's the one that died? Because the 78 seems to be the most ever. Oops. I was bound to screw it up eventually. Uh, 78 merit and died. Don't know how many years it's been. It's been three years. Yeah, it's been. Three years have passed. During a tribunal, Gideon Bell is judged to have the largest merit deduction in all of tribunal history. To execute his punishment, the idol was used on him, and he lost 78 merit and died. 78 souls? 78 bones. <laughs> I guess I think it's just merit again, I guess. Just a repetitive word choice. So I think his number must be wrong then. I need to revisit how I calculated his number. Rejected the high arbiter's request that he share information. That's a secret. It's one point. Refuse to start working. Sloth. Three points. Times five is fifteen. So this is sixteen points. Or it's an outrageous hairstyle. Fashion. I guess it's I guess it's vulgar vulgarous. So fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Broke down in tier ten times while questioning. Seventy points. Eighty-eight. That's eighty-eight. Uh, okay, so I calculated correctly and then just like wrote the wrong number basically as a disaster man I calculated all the correct individual numbers and I knew I was adding 18 to 70 and then I said 78 
It's just a slip up. So the number's right. The number's right. I correctly guessed before this even started that Gideon Bell was going to be the one punished. Just like narrative significance felt like, like it just it just felt like it was obvious to me that it would be Gideon. And maybe it kind of looked like him, but I'm not even sure if that's true, honestly. Yeah, no, it's pretty hard to identify this character. That's not what Gideon looks like. I just had an immediate vibe that that was definitely him. Let's double check the year. March 13th, 1795, ever since 1792. So it's been three years when this was printed. But is this a new newspaper? So do you do they manually like add and subtract merit from their bodies? Is that what the the punishment phrasing is implying? This person says, "I, I sure hope the process the process is not painful." And it's like, "Well, you're gaining four merit apparently." So Albion Frank banknote. I remember if anyone has notes. And where do you feel the new regime rewards your diligence now? So tell me why I saw you spend three more shillings. Yep. Agreed. I think that's the only reference to what year it is. Prince of Dusk. Like night, I am dark and full of terror. I do not fear love. I do not make that error. When you know my name, just look for my face. This is, yeah, this is sloth and whatnot. This is vulgarity. Gasp. So not a good community, not, not a good society to be gay in. That's the, the first people to be taken out. Like Stephen Fry in V for Vendetta. Was it Stephen Fry? I haven't watched that movie for a while. Uh, Gideon Bell. Largest merit detection in all tribunal history. Executed as a punishment. The idol was used on him. Lost 88 merit and died. Yep. Three years have passed. What do I, what do I have wrong? Horus. Okay. But I figured the name's correct. Two or fewer slots. The year is correct. It's just a little trick, because if you think something's correct, you can swap it out when it's on this threshold, and it'll take you over the boundary. Oh, idle. Wait. Merit deduction. When did I make it idle? Uh, souls was used on him? <laughs> Bones was used on him? Is it like the spell? Years was used on him because it ages him? Uh, idle makes sense. Uh... <laughs> He lost 88 Fangor. Oops. Oh, you can't even put... Right, you can't put the wrong... Huh. Huh. 
Aha. It is 88 years. Okay. I was like, I didn't try that earlier. I considered that he lost time. I guess I said that he lost. He, they used the years spell, but I didn't put it at 88 years. Whoops. So your cha your age has changed based on your merit. They give and take years, which means that certain people have life drained from them, and other people are given more time. Because like, I sure hope the process isn't painful when they give me more four more years of life. What a dickhead. The Order Party has seized power and now enforces the four maxims of virtue. The young Duke Gideon Bell was judged during the tribunal to have lost 88 merits. The High Arbiter of the Party, Lazarus Hurst, used the idol to decrease Gideon's youth by 88 years, thus making him 108, which resulted in his death. Damn. He was only 20. Right? Yeah, he was only 20 years old. That sucks. Uh, also, you can t you can tell that the, that society is organized in a fucked up way. Like, <laughs> God, to, to be reminded of the terrible movie In Time, where people have ticking time going down because time is money, huh? Literally, uh, and you can add and subtract that time, and it's a commentary on capitalism and whatnots. Uh, but in this society, everybody just has a fixed budget for like what field they're in, basically. That gives them a positive number, and then they just lose time. They like they can they seemingly can only lose uh, years unless they betray other people, which leads to those people losing their years. Uh, so the people on the top have an an ever present net gain of years. It would seem from all the punishments, which just makes him immortal. So things are going well. Good new order you guys made here. All right, next up. Uh, the finale, I guess? It's got a giant poster, so maybe. Let's find out. Mm -hmm.